Hi there, welcome to Blend Tech. Today we're going to have a quick tip tutorial. The thing that I model the most, the thing that you're going to find most tutorials for on YouTube and on Google is for making cars. But one thing that people have trouble with, I find, is making fenders on older cars and fenders in general. But you can see I have this fender shape here that would come on an older car and you would see how the wheel goes in here you see the headlight bezel you can see how the fender line would travel along where the fender line should and you can see how it tapers back especially on the hood side because usually your hoods would be wider in the back and shorter in the front in older cars whereas newer cars it's kind of reversed so to, I want to show you how to make this shape very quickly so we're gonna start new blender version 2.72a so we're gonna add a mesh circle we want seven vertices that's already set because I've done this already a couple times just to test and play with we want to rotate it around the X 90 degrees so that it's straight up and down now or we want to go into edit mode and select I'm using the brush or circle select here by pressing C just all the vertices except the bottom two now we're gonna extend them back with the E key extrude them back if your fender curves off to one side then do it from top view in orthographic perspective I'm gonna assume that the fender goes straight back so we're just gonna go in the Y direction now we come around to the back side. The first thing we're going to do is take all five points and scale them in a little bit just to give it a little bit of a curve. And then we're going to select the very top point and we're going to move the cursor, that's Shift and S, to active. That'll move the 3D cursor to the active vertice. Then we're going to change our pivot point to 3D cursor. That way everything will pivot around this point instead of the median point, which is standard. Then we're going to select these top two vertices and we're going to scale them in fairly far. And now you see we kind of have this fender shape going on. So then we reset our pivot point back to median point. The shortcut for that is control comma. We're going to select this corner point and grab it. If you have a car that has a very, very flat profile hood, you would bring it up almost all the way to the top. What I would suggest doing is to grab it in the Z direction, so just bring it up, not all the way, but pretty close, and then grab it in the X direction. Actually, fairly far, but that way it's kind of in line with the front profile, but scaled down, and that gives us our basic fender shape. From here, go to the other side. This is where your wheel well is. I have a hot key for loop cuts, so I'm just going to create a bunch. That's Control R, though, if you don't know. And take all your points and just extrude them straight down along the Z axis. And that is where you would create your wheel well. For example, something like that. And from there, you can get some pretty interesting shapes going. Now, if you want to make your headlight bezel really quick, we select the entire circle that create we created and then we fill it in and then we inset and click without making any changes and then we deselect. You might have to zoom in. We select just the inner inset, not the outer one. You can see here how there's a little bit of a gap and we scale this in that creates the headlight bezel shape and then you extrude it back and so now you can kinda of see how the shape is going now we put in a subsurf modifier to make it nice and smooth and there you go you can see how the fender shape is created this headlight looks fine the way it is but if you wanted to sharpen things up I would recommend taking the outer edge and giving it a mean crease in the end panel or press shift e and drag it you can see how that does the same effect a mean crease of one is a completely sharp crease so you can turn it down even just a little bit or quite a bit I'm using a boat 
0.5 here. For older cars, that gives you that look that it was almost handmade and it was pressed with just minor imperfections. And then you can simply just take the inner air circle and do the same and you have a headlight bezel and if we turn down the subdivision so that I can see again if you grab the inner circle if you don't like the way the headlights working just give it a mean crease of one and now you have a nice clean headlight bezel so go back into object mode and there's your basic fender thank you for watching today's tutorial if you liked my video and it was helpful, please subscribe and please like it. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment and tell me why so that I can improve my videos in the future. If you just hit dislike and leave, that does no good to know anybody. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching Blend Tech. Quick tips.